summer job is something of a ritual for teens when school's out for summer. But fewer teens are finding a job. Research from J.P. Morgan Chase shows only about a third of teens are working during the summer. About half of teens were in the workforce back in 1995. The same can be said in the 70s and 80s. So when I was thinking, did all of you have summer jobs? Uh, Mike, I'll start with you. I cut uh, some neighbors' lawns during mm -hmm. the summer, but those those jobs like really never go away, right? Um, but I started in radio when I was 15, so mm -hmm. I actually that was kind of my summer. You job. already were on your career path, yeah, right. for better or worse. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I started right away uh, as soon as I could. My dad got me working uh, in one of the hospitals he was working in, so I was pushing stretchers, pushing wheelchairs, mm -hmm. things like that. I remember wanting to earn my own money. And mm -hmm. very quickly, I went from babysitting to working, I think at a Baskin Robbins may have been my first official job at 15 years old. But I also think about the skills that I learned from those jobs. I mean, just having to communicate with people and yep. customers, uh, you know, skills with learning money and having to have that responsibility of a cash register was a big deal at 15. So research, researchers are saying that this can actually be a good thing, not having a summer job, because maybe teens are focusing on volunteering or maybe preparing for college. And I instantly thought of you, Kylie. You're someone who likes mm -hmm. to volunteer. What benefits do you see for teens volunteering instead of maybe entering the workforce well I think if you are if you have that volunteer on your resume that looks better when you're looking at colleges because I feel like no matter what teens are doing now it's all about getting into college or getting those scholarships I received uh, tens of thousands of dollars in scholarships that were just based on community service wow. so just and that was my part of my motivation and I saw a lot of that a lot of my friends went to that as well but you can also get some pretty good work experience mm. too now do you think there's more of an emphasis maybe on sports rather than a job uh, it seems to me that there are a lot more activities that kids are involved with these days than when I was in school. And so, yeah, I think maybe during the school year, they're focused on three different sports plus school. So maybe the summer they just want to sort of relax or they're doing more sports. Yeah, I, I think there is a lot of value in getting that first job. I mean, it's one of the first real times where as a teenager, you're in an adult environment. Mm -hmm. You're interacting consistently with people in their 20s, or, oh my gosh, 30s. <laughs> and you know, you have to communicate at an adult level. And I think there's a lot of value in that. They, I mean, it got me as a shy teenager out of my shell a little bit and able to talk with older people. And, that's helped me do this job. So what skills were required to mow the lawn? Did you did you have to go through an interview process for that? Um, I think cheap, <laughs> cheapest and most yeah. reliable were the two. Show up. Yeah. Always available. I right. love it. I mean, so part of this is that they're saying, okay, well, you know, teens are doing more of that, but also there aren't as many jobs, a little bit of that leftover from yep. the recession, not quite as many opportunities. Hmm.